every year more and more players join the world of esports. In fact, in a 2020 Newsu report, it showed that over 20 million new esports enthusiasts enter the market every year. And for you, this means that there are 20 million other passionate players that suddenly join esports and are new competition for you every single year. And so, as you'd imagine, professional organizations have been forced to ask themselves how they can stay ahead of everyone else and increase their competitive advantage. And as individual players, we should follow their lead if we wish to gain the same kind of advantage and to stay ahead of all the new players. Now, as orgs explore answers to this initial question, they've dove a lot deeper into aspects that are actually outside the game. Teams like Cloud9 and TSM have all invested serious money to provide their players gyms, personal chefs, therapists, and a lot more. As a result, it's not really rare to see professional esports players with toned muscles and having amazing body transformations like EU Explosive, which is a ex Gears of War player. But why have these organizations suddenly shifted their attention to physical fitness and mental health? And how exactly do these factors affect performance? And more importantly, how can these factors help you to improve at your favorite esports games? Given the highly competitive nature and the high octane quick twitch demands that are required by various esports games, you can count on the fact that all top level players would have a specific set of mental skills. First of all, they'd have great reaction speeds. Uh, they'd also have impressive decision making abilities, especially under pressure. They'd have incredible analytical and critical thinking skills. They'd have amazing hand-eye coordination and finger dexterity. And whether that's executing a frame-perfect dodge in a game like Melee, or whether that's trying to pull off the perfect 3v1 situation in a game like Valorant or CSGO, these moments require extreme pressure for your mind and body to perform. So where exactly does physical exercise fit into all of this? Well, all of the skills that I mentioned and all of the skills needed to perform these amazing plays can all be boosted and benefited by the right kind of physical exercise. Now, let's first dive into some research before we talk about how this can affect your performance. So a research paper published in 2018 titled The Effects of Physical Exercise on Cognitive Functioning and Well-Being demonstrated that physical exercise induces structural and functional changes in the brain that can positively affect neuroplasticity, cognitive ability, and mental well-being. Now let's focus on the first of these, neuroplasticity. This is important because it pertains to how your brain reorganizes itself and develops new neural pathways. You can think of it like your ability to learn and adapt to various new stimuli, especially when there's repetitive actions. Now, in that research, they showed increased gray matter volume in the frontal and hippocampal regions of the brain, which are associated with cognitive functions like memory, impulse control, problem solving, and motor function. In other words, it showed a level of a mental upgrade that could help you boost your aim, reaction speed, decision making, critical thinking, and ability to retain and recall information from the game. Now, further studies have shown another benefit that can also come from physical exercise. They showed that the right kinds of exercise can significantly boost a chemical in your brain called brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF for short. Now, BDNF has been called the miracle grow for the brain because of its ability to help neurons grow and mature. And beyond this ability to help your brain grow, its presence in the brain can also boost critical thinking, decision making, and visual spatial memory. Now, let's hang on that last one for just a moment because it might play a larger role than you think. In an interesting study by NeuroTracker, they sought to determine what separates professional versus amateur Overwatch players based on their mental abilities. And one of the most significant differences that they found was in their visual spatial memory. Now, visual spatial memory is simply the ability to visualize something in your mind's eye and keep it there. A quick example would be the unfolding box test. Given the shape of an unfolded box, say this one, 
Can you then visualize in your head which of these answers is oriented properly? Now, whether you have good visual spatial memory or not, it's good to know that you can improve it over time. And by boosting your BDNF levels, you're able to accelerate that process. But the hard truth is that all of this can be completely destroyed by a lack of mental health and well being. It's kind of like building your dream home on a pit of sand. And the moment it rains, it completely destroys everything. In fact, research shows that chronic stress can increase the risk of mental illness, change the brain structure, even shrink the brain, killing your brain cells, and negatively impact your memory. If you ever feel like you're having an off day, maybe you're missing shots and you feel like you shouldn't be missing them or you're making mistakes that you normally would never make, it could be due to mental fog that's brought on by stressors in your life. But if regular exercise can help boost your mood, reduce stress, and alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety, then that'll allow your brain to function at a higher level. In fact, I've heard personally from many esports players and a lot of coaches how they rely on exercise as the number one factor to manage their stress and pressure of performing at the highest level. I <laughs> worked out really hard. <laughs> I think I can, uh, like, I can solve, like, my stress, like, as a, a with the workout. So, given all of these benefits of exercise, it's no wonder that esports orgs all over the world have invested a lot of money into providing their players with the resources to eat right and get exercise. So, then begs the question, how exactly can you take advantage of this? Well, it's not like everyone can just go ahead and afford a personal trainer, right? And what about all these super complicated workouts that everyone's doing, things like CrossFit? Well, fortunately for you, the CDC recommends for adults to get at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise every week. And one study even found that just 20 minutes of yoga every day led to significantly improved speed of accuracy on memory tests. And even a Harvard Health letter from the Harvard Medical School recommends moderate intensity exercises like swimming, stair climbing, dancing, or even physically demanding household chores to start with. So for you, you can do things like doing yoga at home, you can go outside for a long walk or a jog, you can go to the gym or start playing sports, whatever it is that you enjoy that really just gets your blood pumping. But it's worth mentioning that not all exercise routines will give you the same amount of benefits. While it's okay to start with light exercises initially, you ideally want to slowly upgrade over time to things that have a bit more intensity. In fact, an article published by Brain Sciences on high intensity interval training showcases improvements in cognitive flexibility in older adults, while moderate intensity continuous training, things like jogging and swimming for 20 minutes, really did not have the same benefits. So if you want to upgrade your cognitive flexibility and get a bit more out of your workouts, and I recommend trying this high intensity interval training. This would basically consist of things like 20 second all out sprints followed by a minute of rest and then repeating that in a cycle. Perhaps you might change that 20 seconds of sprinting for something like 20 seconds of intense burpees or just about anything that is very intense, but alternating from intensity to rest really quickly. So let's return to the big question that's likely still in your mind. Can exercise make you a god tier gamer right away? Well, not quite. The main benefits of exercise come with time. Regular exercise every day will slowly sharpen your mind, promote neuron growth, and maintain peak mental and physical performance, especially when you're dealing with high amounts of stress. And these, in turn, will allow you to learn more effectively. This can translate to learning maps faster, picking up techniques faster, and improving your hand-eye coordination. A combo in a game that may have taken you 20 tries to get down might only take you 15 now. And a new map that came out that you have to learn and study, instead of taking 5 or 6 hours, might only take you 2 or 3. 
The key here is to formulate a workout routine or find an exercise or series of workouts that you actually enjoy doing. Because if you're willing and able to stick to a consistent routine, that's when you'll start to see the most benefits. And while this is one of the hardest habits to build as a gamer, it is one of the most rewarding. It will give you a mental boost that you need to perform at your peak skills, develop faster as a player, maintain your mental balance as you grind harder every day, and thus give you an advantage over millions of other players. Hey guys, I hope you loved this video. If you did, then subscribe and drop a comment down below with the key lessons that you learned in this video. Also, be sure to check out the playlist in the pinned comments if you want to keep learning about similar topics. And if you're ready to become a serious pro gamer, then I also recommend checking out our new online bootcamp. I'm insanely excited about this. So basically, it teaches you how to become an esports player, how to build a team, how to earn the recognition of pro players and organizations, and how to make money as a pro gamer. But this is not like any other video course. This is a live bootcamp that you can take alongside other like-minded players over 30 days. You'll join a real community, have direct access to instructors who will guide you through every step, and you'll have real projects that will help you kickstart your gaming career. Now, unfortunately, we can only accept a limited amount of students to help make this easier to manage. But if you're interested, then join now before the group fills up. If you are lucky enough to get access to the bootcamp, then by the end of the 30 days, you'll have started your pro gaming career. You'll be ready to dominate tournaments. You'll have built a foundation of a personal brand that you can use for influence and making money. And ultimately, you'll be on the fast track towards esports success. So if you're serious about becoming a pro gamer, then check that out with the link in the description. And while you're down there, check out the playlist, hit the like button on this video and show a little love in the comments. I love to see whenever you guys learn something new or have some new insights. This is really rewarding and it helps me stay motivated to make more videos. But in the meantime, I hope you guys keep on grinding, keep on improving. And I'll see you all in the next video.